So I first joined HSBC and that's my experience in TradFi. I was there for about six years in a variety of uh, senior compliance roles, including the head of financial crime compliance for HSBC in China. And I worked, uh, I primarily have uh, sanctions, global sanctions expertise coming from the US government before that. Crypto started to appear when I first heard about, um, or when I really wanted to get into the industry itself and work in it. When I first heard about the, uh, the Libra Association, which then ended up turning into the DM uh, Association and Network. And Meta, or Facebook at the time, was starting a project. It was the first crypto digital asset wallet uh, that they had that would be working with this DM Association. And what really drew, to, drew me to it is that they were coming up with, again, having like the most comprehensive compliance controls to put on a blockchain. And that really, you know, as a former US government, government official and then as someone who takes compliance very seriously, especially fighting uh, financial crime, that was something that really drew me to it. Because I knew that that was kind of one of the missing components from the industry, you know, from the get go many years ago. And so I ended up joining uh, this, this, you know, the Meta Project, and first as their global head of anti money laundering, and then as their chief compliance officer. So the work that we're doing primarily in protecting users and supporting the wider industry, and I really view this as one of our primary roles as compliance leadership at Binance, is proactive regulatory engagement and, and working very much with international organizations and a lot of other, and business partners too. You want to be working with global business partners to attract them and bring them in. It's absolutely crucial to be able to explain, especially in an industry that's not very well understood, to be able to explain why we as compliance leadership are comfortable with the very robust program that uh, Binance has in place and by far is the industry leading one. So that's really important to do that. There is still a very negative narrative out there about the crypto and blockchain world having a lot more illicit financial activity, which having worked in traditional finance and just knowing generally, the traditional finance space still has by far and exceeds the amount of illicit activity that's going on within the blockchain. It, the, what happens on the blockchain really pales in comparison. And so to kind of work with this narrative and kind of explain how it's actually a really good thing that we can see what's going on on a public ledger, on the public blockchain, that's not something that traditional financial institutions have and can leverage law enforcement, policymakers, data analytics, anyone can access this information on the blockchain, but they cannot look at it in traditional financial institutions. And that's really what distinguishes what we're working in. This requires a lot of proactive engagement with the policymakers, businesses, etc. So that's really something that we take seriously and we'll move forward in advance for the whole industry. What excites me most, actually, is working at Binance, as you know, the world's largest blockchain infrastructure company, and being able to be part of the leadership team that's in place now and working on the great work that's been done over the last couple of years to develop that industry leading program and to lead the charge for the rest of the industry with our regulators, with regulators we haven't really gotten, you know, who don't have the legislative framework yet. And I think that's really what excites me. I want to be able to, to fight financial crime. And I want to be able to protect users from abuse and exploitation from criminals. And that's critically important for the entire industry to advance.